Yeah, good morning. Um, this morning I'll be talking about one major EU that keeps coming, you know, that's becoming a, a point of debate in the body of Christ. All and sundry, it's, it's just being raised every now and then. There was even a time that uh, a wonderful online personality that the freeze also raised it. You know, it was a, it was a teaching across borders. Um, and we, the member of the body of Christ, we are the ones that are the major fans and carriers of that uh, thing. You got help us. I'll be talking about this issue of Titan. People say that uh, Titan is not, it's not compulsory and that it's, an, it's, a, it's the law of the Levites. It's an Old Testament practice. And because it's an Old Testament practice, we are in the New Testament time of grace. That you should not bring pay tight again. Ah. If you know that Titan is not good, or Titan is not the will of God, or Titan is Old Testament, then why do you why are you claiming claiming the promises of God in the Old Testament? You they talk say tight. Me they know the PM. Because say the Old Testament. Why you can't they claim the blessing with the Deuteronomy? Title is not composed to pay title now, testament law. Why you can't they claim all the you know prayers in the book of Psalm? They use and pray for water, they pray for oil in that psalm. Do you know that the major place where the prophetic was really, really, really established in the old testament? Go and find out. That was where you can say the prophetic established. So you want to reap the good of the old testament, you want to engage the laws of the prophetic of the old testament, but ignore. The law of Titan. You are joking. It's not a cause for today. Listen to me. Titan is scriptural. Not only Titan, even sowing of seeds. It's all this EU of ah, when you pay your tithe, all these pastors, uh, all the pastors, them, the big cathedral, they buy jet, all their tithe, they are just enjoying the tithe, they are doing this, enjoying the seed. Is God spending money? It is your mindset that is affecting you. It is your mentality that is affecting you. I've said it again and again. Anytime you give to a ministry, you didn't give to the man of God, you give to God. God does not spend money, but there is a system, there is an altar that represents him that spend the money. Whereby when this altar spend the money, it's God that spend the money. When this ministry spend the money, it's God that spend the money. When this ministry use the millions to go for crusade to win souls, it is God that spend the money. Change your mindset of thinking that anytime you give to a church, you give to the pastor of the church. Anytime you give to a man of God, you give to... If you call... Listen, I'm a ministry person. If you sow into my ministry, for instance, or you pay your tithe to my ministry, don't ever say, I give to Brother Femi. You, you will not reap that way. You, nothing will come. It's, there's nothing to lie about. Anytime you are led to sow to my ministry or to work or to my life, believe that you have given to an altar that is doing the work of God, in that way you are giving to God, then God will give you the returns. The reason why we think this way is because we think that any time we sow seed or give tithe, we give to men. No, sir. No, sir. Practice it. The Bible says that he that scattereth and yet increase it. He that we told it more than his meat and it tends to poverty. I will explain that in, the, in, in another episode, maybe at another time. Do you know that it is those people that are in the world that really scatters? You see giveaways online being done by those who we say they don't know Christ. They give people cash, money. David, look at the time David raised some amount of money on his birthday for charity. Let any Christian do giveaway. One is how many Christians I even do want to do giveaway. Even if they take the courage to do giveaway, they will run after them. They will see they are doing self service. I tried it last year. I tried it last year December. As God gave me the, 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 the privilege on 25th, so. 100,000 to 20 people in 5,000 5, per person. I did it following instruction. I was chased. They, they, they said I was doing it to show myself to the world as, as a man pleaser and all that. See, listen, listen, listen to me. And that's how many people, many Christians, God has blessed them. They don't want to do it. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are afraid of coming out to be a blessing. Why? Because the people will come after them. They will say their own is too much. What is wrong with us? See, seed faith, tithing is something I practice day in, day out. I will never 
preach what I don't practice. How do you think God is helping me to produce movies back to back? How do you think God is helping me to be relevant in ministry? How do you think God is helping me to still be you know, doing this continually and God is helping us, God is increasing us if we are just sitting down and just, 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 just eating up tight? In the next episode, I will tell you the meaning of what to eat up and what to sow a seed. See, the, the error and that error that, respectfully speaking, men of God have made is that they, they, they teach you that when you pay tight, God will give you money. Bring you all the tithes to the store out that the year may be food in my house. Prove me if I will not open the windows of heaven to pour out a blessing. Blessing is not money. That blessing is not money. The, the, in fact, the least dimension of blessing is money. Mental prosperity is blessing. Favor is blessing. Health is blessing. You know, relationship, destination is blessing. Connections is blessing. Open doors. Is it not blessing? You go somewhere, other people fail, they only pick you. It's blessing because I tighter. Accident happened, God said, it's blessing. Protection is a blessing. But because your mind has only been money, if you sow 1,000, a local meji, 7,000 God will give to you. That is the error. And it's a very big error. It's a blessing, God promised, not money. Please let us learn to sow seed. It works. You can use your seed to end the season. You can use your seed to open doors. You can use your season to buy grace. The Bible says, go to them that sell and buy. You can see some ministries that there are some grace in their life that you don't have your own ministry. You can sow your seed to that ministry by revelation, not to the man of God. And through that, you can buy that grace. I pray God we help us in Jesus' name. Please, let's practice tithing. Let's practice, let's practice seed faith. It works. You see, as long as the earth remains, there's a seed time and harvest. Each time I want to sow my seed, I take my phone. Once I put the amount there, and I, I want to get to confirm, I raise it up to heaven, Lord. Your word said, as long as the earth remains, the earth is one of the witness of the head. I am in eating vessels, I am made of sand and dust. So my earth is talking to this earth now. Earth represents abundance. So I decree and declare, as I'm sowing this seed, Lord, to your altar, to your altar, to your altar, let there be an harvest in my life in Jesus' name. Then I press confirm. That's how I sow it. Do it with revelation. Don't do it. If you don't sow with revelation, you are just doing donations. God bless you. Write in the comment section that from now henceforth, I will begin to be a faithful tither. And as God lead me, sow my seed as I expect increase in my life and family and ministry. Thank you very much. Part two tomorrow morning.